Efforts to raise the minimum wage are gaining steam across the country. Last week, Seattle raised its minimum wage to $15 an hour, making it the highest in the nation. In San Diego, a proposal is on the table to lift hourly basic pay from $8 to $13 and nine cents. Today I'm joined by business leaders on both sides of the issue. They are Harry Schwartz, co-owner of the Downtown Ace Hardware, and David Gimbel, who owns Voice and Video Rentals. Harry, you co-own an Ace Hardware franchise in downtown. You've got 16 full-time employees. You right. are against raising the minimum wage in San Diego. Why? Well, I'm not opposed to a minimum wage, addressing the minimum wage, because it is too low for the San Diego cost of living. What I'm opposed to is the amount that the proposal wants to take it to in such a short period of time. It's just too much, too fast for small businesses to be able to handle. So it would be phased over three years, um, this, this uh, proposal. Um, what is a fair wage increase to you? Well, the city of San Francisco took a very managed approach to it when they raised their minimum wage. They're currently at 1074, and they did that over a 10-year period. And I'm not sure exactly where we should be, probably somewhere around that, uh, maybe at $11. Uh, but it's more about the managed approach to it, I think, than it is the amount we're going to get to. It's making sure that the businesses can survive whatever the increase is. So, David, you've got nine full-time workers. You're in favor of the minimum wage increase. Why? Yes, I am. Well, it, it's not just my business. I think businesses will do better because so much more money would be put back into the community. Uh, these people are at the very bottom. Uh, inflation has not kept up with the minimum wage. They've got less buying power than they ever have. And they can't even put food on the table. And the majority of people who are at minimum wage are uh, heads of households. They're not teenagers into the entry market, as some people say. Uh, less than 4% of them are. These people are desperate, and it couldn't come soon enough. So building on what David said, the Center for Policy on Initiative said that 27% of families in San Diego, with, with both mother and father, both heads of household working full time, can't make ends meet. Right. And, and that even if you raised the minimum wage to $13 an hour, that's still a very much no frills budget. So if not raising it to $13 an hour, then what are some other solutions? Well, I think the minimum wage increase is just one tool that can be used by the city's fathers to help us get these people out of poverty level. And we need to address right now with the 1309 increase, they're trying to use that as the only tool to rapidly get people out of poverty. So we need to evaluate what are the other tools? You know, things like sales tax, do we, can we lower the sales tax? That impacts everyone, including the low wage workers. Gasoline tax, is there something we can do with gasoline tax? So I think there's some things that the city council should look at in other ways to help reduce poverty, not just the minimum wage increase. So David, the San Diego County middle class, or not actually middle class, but the San Diego County Taxpayers Association says, you know, it's automation and it's globalization that are responsible for depressing wages. And that if you really want to increase wages, people need more education and they need workforce development. Um, do they not have a point? Well, when you're at the bottom and you're working two jobs, you don't have time to take care of your children, you don't have time to go to school, you don't have time for training, you're just fighting to survive. And so it sounds good, but the reality is here you have a large percentage of San Diego's population who are struggling and they need help and they need it fast. And Harry, do you, do you buy the argument, which is what uh, David mentioned earlier, that look, if you raise the minimum wage to a livable wage, um, you're going to put more money into the economy because people are going to spend more. There Does that is, sway I, you? I think there is some validity to it. It's a compelling story. Um, but part of the problem is that we're only addressing this as the city of San Diego. This isn't a state addressed issue or, an, or a federal addressed issue, which is really what it should be. So we're going to be an island of, of high wage, high price area. But the with, federal government couldn't address it. There was a lot of gridlock around there it. There was. And so they haven't. Um, and the state has addressed it. They're taking it up to $10 an hour, which probably isn't enough. But the city of San Diego is going to end up being an island with a 1309 minimum wage, high prices as a result of that. And the surrounding areas are not going to be at those at those prices and wages. And that's going to be a problem for city. Very, very quickly, but other cities as Seattle um, and San Francisco are taking up the issue. Do you not see this as sort of a national movement? There's no question it's a national movement. It's in the national press now more than it's ever been. And there's been a wave 
and I think Seattle is terrific in raising it, raising it to 15. I'd like to see it 15 or maybe even a little bit more here in San Diego. And we've got to wrap it there. David, Harry, thanks so much for coming on the Thank program. Thank you. Thank you.